Hello everyone. Today I'm going to explain to you how we are going to integrate S3 with event bridge and event bridge should give a trigger to lambda. So generally in a lot of scenarios we face an issue where uh, if there is an S3 bucket and we want multiple triggers probably to different applications to different other um, you know uh, events like we want to trigger it through event bridge we don't just need an event notification so I'm going to explain how if you create an object or you delete an object any kind of updates in your S3 bucket it will trigger an event to event bridge and this event bridge will eventually trigger your lambda function maybe you can integrate event bridge to trigger your glue or some other job but yeah a general usage is to trigger your lambda function so I just want to explain you that so this is my main application this is the folder that I will be working today so we are going to do this with uh, terraform so I have created various files here so I have already explained how we are going to do the folder structure for terraform in my previous video I'll add that link over in the uh, header but uh, I'll just give a quick overview this is the environment where my main.tf lies I, I don't have a dev prod and uh, QA environment you can create your own folders and keep your main.tf files different for each of these environments and this is my base folder base folder is where all of my other terraform code lies which is similar to like which is not uh, environment agnostic basically it is like general terraform files okay i'll just give a small overview of what lambda function is i have a simple lambda function which says s3 event bridge lambda so this is nothing this just prints event got triggered from s3 and prints the actual event uh, as most of you if you are working with Terraform on a regular basis, most of you know that Terraform gets initiated here. It knows that it has to use the HashiCorp AWS, this particular version, and we initialize all our variables that we have defined. Let's say main.tf, we have defined our stage, region, profile, etc. We kind of uh, initialize it over here in the base folder. And then once it's initialized as a variable, then we can use it in other different other, I mean, different other locations in Terraform resources. So this is my first resource. This is the S3 bucket that I'm creating. This is called, uh, I've given it a name S3 trigger event bridge. You can give any name you want here. My bucket name is S3 event bridge test in Yantel tech world. So this should be unique globally. So please make sure you have a unique bucket name. You can give it a different tag. And yes, this is something I have added, a new thing. So I have enabled a notification, a bucket notification uh, to trigger event bridge. So event bridge equals to true, true for this particular bucket. So please make sure you do this. Then I go over to my rules. This is my I am role. This, this role is basically just to cater the lambda function. It is just allowing the lambda function to execute. It's a basic execution role. And I have also added an event bridge policy attachment which gives AWS S3 read only access for this particular I am role basically. Okay, let's go over to provider. Provider is just AWS profile and region. We go over to event bridge. I have created an event bridge tool which should trigger lambda from S3 events. This is the event, this is the matching of the event that we have done here. AWS S3 bucket. Uh, here is the name of the bucket that, that should trigger the event. Okay, uh, please understand that this is if there is any object 
put into this S3 bucket inside the bucket, not inside any folder inside the bucket, in the main bucket, then only this event will be triggered. If you are adding any files to any uh, folder inside the bucket, that logic or that event pattern will be different. We will be covering that up in our next video, but this will trigger the main bucket. So if you add any files to the main bucket directly, then only it will be triggered. So I have added detail type as object created. You can add many more object created, object deleted, etc. etc. This is my event target. So here I'm telling my event bridge that uh, please go ahead and uh, trigger this lambda function. So the target for this particular event bridge rule is lambda function. So I have given my lambda functions ARN number here and this is my rules name. So this is the rule name as the event rule. This is the target ID and this is my lambda function. So here I am telling my event bridge to go and trigger this particular lambda function. Let's see how we have defined our lambda function. This is the main lambda function where we are zipping the entire folder. This is my folder lambda folder. I am zipping it and then from here I am creating a lambda function with particular I am role that we have already created. My handler is S3 event bridge lambda lambda handler, runtime, memory size, etc. etc. Most of you are still aware of, but if not, we will be giving you a complete overview of how Terraform works. Okay, now we have created from cloud watch log groups, lambda logs. This is the log group for this particular lambda only. So I have clearly mentioned AWS. You have to follow this format, slash AWS, slash lambda, and then your lambda function's name for it to create a valid CloudWatch log group. So please make sure you maintain this format. Then coming down to permission. So uh, this is a permission that we have added uh, for this event bridge to trigger lambda function. So we have added a permission for event bridge to access S3 and this is the permission that lambda can be invoked by event bridge. So yes, please make sure you add this permission. Okay, enough of talk and tell. So let's go ahead and implement this. Let's go Terraform in it. Okay, oh my bad. Let's go inside CD Terraform. CD env. So I am inside env folder. I have main.tf inside my env folder. So Terraform in it. Okay, so Terraform has been successfully initialized. It has installed the HashiCorp AWS 5.0.0. Let's go ahead and validate this. Okay, the configuration is valid. Terraform plan. Okay, in the Terraform plan, it said that all of these that resources that we have mentioned, it will be created. So plan nine to add, zero to change, zero to destroy. So we have nine plans to add. Let's go ahead and apply terraform apply i will give auto approve because i don't want to click on yes every time so i am approving it previously it is creating a similar plan to terraform plan it has listed down all the resources that we will be creating and it has said uh, plan 9 to add, 0 to change, 0 to destroy, same as Terraform plan. Okay, let's go ahead and see S3 bucket. July 4, okay, so today it got created right now. Awesome, let's see if all my functions are completed. Okay, yes, 9 added, 0 change, 0 destroyed. So my bucket is created. I have no objects over here. Let's go to properties. In the properties, 
I don't have event notification, but we have enabled event bridge. So you can see send notification to Amazon event bridge. This is turned on. This is generally by default turned off. We also created event bridge. So let's go there. Okay, I'll select rules. I have created an S3 event rule, uh, which description says trigger lambda from S3 events. So I click on S3 event rule. It's taken my S3 bucket name, object created, AWS.S3. Okay, let's go to see targets. So my target, it says, is a lambda function. That's right. Let's go over to the lambda function. This is my lambda function and we have a simple lambda handler even got triggered from S3 and event. Okay, looks like everything got created the way we wanted. Uh, let's see if we can... Okay, we have opened our S3 bucket now. And we upload a simple stupid file. I just opened a random file over here. I clicked on upload. So one file got added, 15.7 KB. We'll see event bridge. We'll see monitoring. If there is no data available, do not worry guys. It takes some time, some time. We go over to lambda function. Here is my lambda function. Let's click on monitor. Okay, I have a new log file created which says event got triggered from S3 and version and it has told me that I have uploaded March 2023.docx. So that's what we wanted, right? We wanted to see our uh, event bridge triggering lambda function uploaded. So our project was successful. This is how you can add a trigger from S3 to event bridge, which will trigger eventually your lambda function. You can if you want like detailed videos on how it can be implemented or if you are facing certain issues in implementing these, please let us know. We'll be sharing this particular S3, uh, the Terraform code in by GitHub link in the description box below. So this is the GitHub repository. We'll be sharing it with you so you can always refer back and let us know if you have any concerns or questions or anything. So, Thank you for seeing our video. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you still like us, please like, share and subscribe. Please subscribe to our channel to keep getting such videos. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.